So it's it's been insane. It's been a really crazy experience seeing us go from a really small, tiny boutique agency to this formidable creative communications firm. You know, I try to showcase as much of the life of Duma Collective as possible, but there are the in-betweens where we're all struggling to put the campaign together or get it out on time, or there are things that we don't understand and we've got to call people, call a friend. So as a creative communications agency, um, we work in solving marketing problems for clients. So there's always a different challenge popping up on our tables and that's what makes it so fast paced and so challenging and so, um, so fun actually <laughs> to work in. And it's, it's something that has challenged me as an individual and my personal growth has had to accelerate to keep up with the demand of my business because it is a person-led business. It's something that requires me to be um, involved and the business development around it, the client service, the HR management, the legal, the financial management, um, also just creating a really great work culture. All of these things are things I've been so invested in and I'm now learning that it's things that I've, I've got to be able to outsource and entrust other people to come in and be experts on. And mine is to really just be a great conductor of this orchestra that produces incredible symphonies. So my personal growth linked to my business growth. <laughs> So some of the things that I've learned about the creative industry um, are that it is open to anybody. Anyone who is hardworking, anyone that is creative enough, anyone that is agile enough um, can really play. Collaboration really, really is the secret weapon um, because you can only do so much as one person. Um, another thing is sending the elevator down. There are other people who want to follow in your footsteps and it is really my responsibility, it's our responsibility as people who are at a different level to send the elevator back down to come and fetch the other people to come back and join us at the so-called top. The Innovation Fund would look to investing in businesses like Duma Collective um, because they want to be part of the solution. They recognize that we are trying our best to contribute to this economy and contribute to the growth of our, our country. And they want to be part of that. So the effect of investing in a small business such as mine is that you are affecting more people beyond just the business owner. But at the end of the day, as an innovation fund, they're able to say that we were part of the solution. It's really important to me to be able to look around me and see people who love what they do and are able to get paid for it. But more than that, this future that is in the making, I'm part of the people who are the writers of it. I'm part of the generation that other generations are going to speak of and say, you know, we can also do this because we've seen people do it. So as, as people who are the change makers, we're here to say this future's in the making and we are the ones making it. <laughs>